Hello everybody, welcome to Makoi TV. My name is Carla and today I want to show you what SAP IBP is and how can it help you and your company improve all the processes in the supply chain and deliver an optimal plan. Are you ready for it? So, in your company there are many departments involved in creating the optimal plan. Demand, supply, marketing, finance, executives, etc. And they all need to be aligned. However, this is really difficult if you don't have a system that can give a voice to all of them. And apart from that, you also need to consider different horizons. The strategical, which sets directions and targets for the long term. The tactical, which creates aggregated plans to meet these strategic objectives, for example, balancing demand and supply or creating an optimal inventory level. And finally, the operational, that translates these plans into detailed plans for the short term for example, to create supply priorities or confirmations. And that's why SAP has created IVP, which is a great supply planning solution. IVP stands for Integrated Business Planning, and it consists of six modules that cover all these processes. Do you have problems when balancing demand and supply or creating a business plan which is cross-company and uses a single source of truth? Then IVP for SNOP is what you need. It gives you the opportunity to include all the inputs and set up an unconstrained plan to assess in strategical and tactical decision-making processes. Is it difficult for you to create accurate forecasts or quickly react to short-term changes in the demand? Thanks to its advanced algorithms, IBP for Demand will calculate and assign the best fitting statistical forecast to each product while offering the possibility to sense demand on a short-term horizon. Or maybe you're struggling to determine the optimal inventory level to satisfy your customer service across all your network. Or you want to reduce production and inventory costs. Then IVP for Inventory has a multi-stage inventory optimization that will tackle these issues effectively by buffering the forecast error and demand risk and efficiently master supply chain uncertainty throughout the entire supply chain. The module that will help you in covering the strategical, tactical and operational supply plan in one solution is IBP for supply and response. You can make unconstrained or constrained plans with profit or delivery maximization or manage allocations and confirmations for optimal customer service and prioritize demand streams. If you have a lack of visibility throughout your network, then Supply Chain Control Tower is your solution. It gives you end-to-end -end monitoring of the supply chain by analyzing the current and historical performance it creates alerts to quickly identify potential issues and it provides collaboration tools for a perfect business network communication. And last but not least, the demand-driven replenishment module calculates the coupling points, average daily use and buffers positioning and sizing to enable material flow through your supply chain. I'm convinced that after this brief summary you can see which model would help you the most with your daily planning issues. Which one do you think it would be? Or would you like to hear more about another one? Just leave your comments below and we will make sure to have an answer for you. Apart from the six main modules, IVP offers even more advantages. It is a cloud-based platform running on SAP HANA, which has an easy integration with other SAP systems, but that can also get inputs from many other sources at an aggregated or detailed level. Best practices are followed during the integration, but on the other hand, it is a complete scalable and flexible model. User experience is optimal thanks to the web and Excel user interfaces. And planners can create different what-if scenarios and make simulations that will help in the decision-making process. All the results and information can be seen in customizable charts and dashboards and any required KPI can be calculated. And the best part is that it is an aesthetic system because it follows a roadmap with constant improvements. This was all theory and I'm sure you're asking yourself how can IVP help planners in their daily tasks? Let's see one example. So our planner starts his day by checking the dashboard that he has assigned. There he can see, for example, the network map, the sales forecast, also the forecast by region, and the capacity overview. Here he sees that two of our resources are highly overloaded, which means that the capacity usage is more than 100%. And he needs to solve the situation. That's why he goes into the Excel user interface to check the planning results. There, in the capacity view, he can indeed see that 
the capacity usage for the CH01 location is more than 100%. Luckily, we have another location, which is CH02, that has some resources with free capacity. So we can put some of the production in this other location. How do you do it? You can go to your production ratio and here change the location sourcing ratio from one plant to the other one. For example, now we'll put 0.8 on the first plant and 0.2 on the second one. And we save the data. We can put that it's the reason for changes, it's a capacity issue. And once this is saved, we will run again our heuristics. In the SNOP operators, we just need to select the one we'll run. Again, our reason is a capacity constraint. And in the status view, we can check when this job has finished. So now you see the status and we update our view. And now, as you can see, the capacity has been divided into our two locations and we don't have any overloaded resource anymore. But you here in the user interface, you can also check the customer demand per product, how it's divided, also the gross profit, for example, for each one. Then again, you can also check how this demand goes from your distribution center to your customer, transportation features, production, or even in your inventory view, check your stock on hand, inventory target, and the projected stock. If we go back to our dashboard, you can also see that when we refresh the capacity overview, the issue is solved and now the capacity is divided into our different resources. So this is all for today. Did you find the video interesting? We really hope so. And that you could also see how IVP can help you and your company for all the challenges you face in your daily supply chain processes. Just don't forget to leave your comments below and we will make sure to answer all of them. And are you eager to learn more about SAP IVP? Then also watch our next videos that will be coming soon. Thanks for all and see you soon.